it updated. So yeah, there's some some updates. I think some bug fixes. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, check if the Kate Sith frog glitch is still there. Oh yeah, the frog glitch. Um... I guess we could, but I'd have to do a bunch of stuff to get there. So performance mode apparently got an update, um, and some people are saying it's not that great. Kind of looks a little Vaseline-ish. Maybe a little bit better. I mean, I'm seeing this on like an OLED TV. You're seeing it through my stream. Did uh, graphics mode get an update of any kind? But game loud. Got them graphics. Alright, so I'm really excited to get to Cosmo Canyon tonight, chat. Um, unfortunately, we will not be using performance mode. I almost don't want to spoil people with the performance mode because um, once you see that 60, it's a little, it's a little more noticeable. But I don't know, man. I just I think it looks really good like this, and uh, hopefully, hopefully there's even more patches on the horizon. But yeah, the. Um, the frog glitch with Kate Sith, that was in the pre-record, right? I did the frog minigame. For those that didn't watch it... I, I wish there was a way to get an easy a clip of that easily, because that was a really fun moment, but... Um, the, the fucking special effects for Kate Sith turning into a frog... ...linger... ...and continue to just, like, explode on the screen permanently. <laughs> No, I'm not going to revive Cloud. It's his own stupid fault. Why is Kate Sith's emote just a cat face? Like, I don't know what that represents. Does that... is that good? Nice little detail, I guess. Uh, 
Oh, is this going to be the Breath of the Wild moment, but for Cosmo Canyon? Oh man, it is. Cosmo Canyon, a sacred sanctuary where the planet's greatest minds gather. It's beautiful. More than I ever imagined. Come on, let's pick up the pace. I can hear it calling my name. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it does look really cool. It is a little dream of the childhood moment happening here, chat. I was a big fan of Cosmo Canyon in the original. And uh, I like space things. And this part of the game has a, a connection to space. So when I got to it in OG Final Fantasy, I was I was like, oh, this is great. The music is fucking phenomenal, too. Uh, I don't know if they're going to recreate it. They have to. I mean, they have to. It's got to be some recreation. Let me just wreck this stuff that they have here. What the fuck? Nanaki. What? I can't believe it. It really is you. <laughs> we were so worried. Welcome home. Uh. Whoa. Now, why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Come on. Uh, you can let them through. They're good people, I promise. W uh, After what? All, they're the reason I'm here. Why is he? What? what in the hell was that? Hey guys, it's me. <laughs> 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 He's such a softy. Real quick, gotta check something. Yeah, we have weapons. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Someone just said that was the most controversial moment in the game. Of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. Hmm. But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. Yeah, very different people. Welcome to the Sanctum of Planetology, Cosmo Canyon. The Plankton of Scientology. Well, I guess we're here now. Uh, I don't know how I felt about that Red 13 moment. That's, uh... So what, he was just putting on a voice? He was. Um, great. Yeah. Watch over the veil. My pleasure. You see that wanted poster? Oh, the music is wonderful, though. Must be that way for a reason. Gotta keep on our toes. Genuinely, did you forget Red as a teenager? I just am baffled by the decision to drop the voice that quickly. Like in front of the party, too. It was more apparent in the OG Japanese text than lost in translation. Someone said, I mean better now than ever. I, Chad, I'm not losing sleep over it. I'm just saying I have to, like, process that for a minute. We're at the Cosmo Canyon cloud. A long-standing dream of mine has finally come I'm losing true. sleep over Planet Chadley, though. rejects our mako-consuming society, insisting that we have much to learn about this world. And now, we have the opportunity to share in their planetary knowledge. Um... What's this? 
he dropped the voice in front of Aerith back in Costa del Sol too. Remember, you were like, whoa, who is that? Oh, I didn't remember that. No. Oh shit, okay, okay, that makes some, some sense. So they do hint at it. I thought it was just like some someone Aerith was keeping in her pocketbook or something. Or like, you know, she keeps a staff in her pockets. Why not a like a person? I don't know, Chad. I'm a I'm dumb. Poison and petrify materia. Jump materia. I can't afford any of this stuff. I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. You got this great music from Cosmo Canyon, and then Chadley's like rocking his tunes. Do 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 So this is the famous cave hotel. Whose luggage is this? I would stay at this hotel. I've been dying to come here ever since I read about this place in a guidebook. So the concert at the White Coast. Is that SSL? How does Cloud know this? Used to be a soldier. Lots of hand signals. That's Thanks for answering. Sign language came to be a thing. I know the basics. Green's blood, huh? I like how I ask question, immediately Cloud answers. That's helpful. Also, it's nice that there's a little moment in there like that. Um, but you're gonna fucking lose really hard in Queen's blood now. Sorry, fellow. Saucer squad chat. No. I know where to put the saucer squad. Like Yoda crushes a rock. Ooh! Oh, you! You, you, you! Encroach. Chat, should I encroach or should I increase? I don't know. This is pretty good too. Use onion? I could onion. I'm, I'm worried about onion though. Ah, uh, it's the bottom one I'm worried because that's gonna take the top one probably. Yep, I knew it. Hmm. Let's 
slightly unexpected. Chat, chat, I have strategized so incredibly well. Damn. Military too. Solid idea. Good luck with that. Sorry, I beat you so bad in cards. <laughs> the starlit night is yours. Dreams I trust. I told you the person I got to suck for me on that was I guess we're doing some mini games. Two legs, nothing to it. This will fuck him up. Oh no. This one's tough. Ah! Oh, it's this song. I love this song, but you know, that's my favorite song. Oops. Kidding me? Why? Chat, this sucks. <laughs> Okay. I'm doing one more time. Can you just rotate the stick? Mm. 
no. Uh, yeah, better. I have failed upwards. Two hands. Nothing to it. Every time I come back to the stream, he switches game genre. It didn't really sound like your heart was in it. I was, my heart was in it. It's a hard song. You try playing piano with bum sticks. There's a reason we use all of our fingers to play piano. Some pretty cool sheets. I will say it's a little weird going through Cosmo Canyon with this many tourists. I mean, I guess it's kind of accurate. Why wouldn't a place like this have a ton of tourists? Someone said, what the fuck people can visit. Yeah, I... I <laughs> I'm talking about in comparison to my original... My memories. The dream of the childhood chat member. Do you know what I mean? When you play a game and you, you, like, have an image of it in your head. And then you get here and there's tourists. They got... The chat member got offended by that statement. Same thing with the boat as a cargo ship in the original. I mean, I would still say I love the game, but there are things that are definitely different than the original in a way that I'm not sure about, 100%. But also, you know, if, if here's the thing, and again, I'm not blaming chat member, but of course we're going to have different opinions. You know, there's things about this that you're going to like more than me. There's things about this I'm going to like more than you. Me versus 6,000 people or so, 5,000. 
So there's definitely gonna be, like, if you want to watch someone who shares the exact same thoughts on game, you gotta watch your own VODs, buddy boy. <laughs> I don't know why I said buddy boy. Never said that before, ever on stream. But yeah, I think, you know, I am a very big Final Fantasy VII fan. Again, I can prove it with my notebook from grade school. However, I still do love this, and I'm down for some of the changes, whereas other people might not have been. But there's some stuff that it's just like, okay, that's quite different. And that's where I'm at right now. Must be Nanaki's friends. He's gone up to the observatory, if you're wondering. Elevator is currently undergoing maintenance. It returns to the wellspring of all trees. The torch of Cosmo Canyon. The river of life says a long story. Have you heard about it? Have you heard of the high elves? How about I take my money elsewhere? Hmm? Hmm? Two items for Red 13, huh? It's fairly expensive. How do you feel that Normora broke into everybody's house and replaced their copies with this? Uh, the guy's a jerk. No way around it. That guy's a jerk. But no, I, I mean... There was a counter-argument to like, what if you're excited about a game being a remake for years and it comes out it's poop? Yeah, I, I know. That's the counter argument. Well, poop or different? Like, remake was a bamboozle, according to some, because it was called remake and it was clearly not just a remake. But I do feel like. And, and Nomura it apparently didn't have a whole lot to do with this. He just gets the blame. Um, yeah, I, I also have some problems with the stuff that happened in Remake. Of course I did. There's no way I couldn't. But, you know, I'm willing to just jump into the pool. I wouldn't dream of it. That's a good materia. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I hear Nomura has been getting a lot of blame oh, for... And, uh, please come again. <laughs> Why? They don't... They don't know how to stop. Tell me good things. Uh, yeah, I feel like Nomura has been getting the blame for this a lot. When apparently he's only designed a couple belts and shit. Is this true, chat? He designed Chadley? Oh yeah, no, let's blame Nomura a whole lot more. Someone just said Nomura derangement syndrome. He did Kingdom Hearts, but people hate him for that, too. Which is weird to me, because Kingdom Hearts also has one of the most intense fan bases I've ever seen.
But yeah, I I like what I played so far. Um, we'll see. The history of Magnata books can be traced back to Cosmo Canyon. I'm making a mental checklist of everything I've I've had some issues with, so that way I can write a strongly worded letter to Nomura. I saw Ben Starr in the hallway and Yoshi P as well at um, at PAX. I'm sure it's weird for people to just see me walking around just doing like human things to some extent. Like some people treat me like I'm more special than I am. Uh, but that said, seeing someone like Ben Starr just walk around and then Yoshi P just chilling. It's like, oh, you're humans. That's right. So I kind of also understand it. It's it's like a, a little bit of a bizarre thing. I've had a number of people at PAX came up to me and were like, Vinny, gotta be honest, it's a little weird to see you have flesh and you are of, of the flesh. I'm like, yep. That's sweet. Yep. Mm -hmm. I am, in fact, also a human being. The flesh is rotting. May the planet bless you with wisdom. But for a while, I will share this coil with you. Ah, yes, the old, all the elevators are undergoing maintenance trick. Yoshi P pushed the release of the newest 14 expansion a week because he wanted to play the Elden Ring expansion. Good lad. Skewer, uh, skewer. Wow! Those are words. Um, not even a real one. Square was kind enough, one of the employees was kind enough to give me one of their Final Fantasy 14 hats. Fine dining, perhaps? All I wanted was that neon chocobo sign that came with the um, influencer kits for Final Fantasy VII Remake. But instead I got a dumb bucket hat for Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> oh well. I was born and raised here, in this canyon. I was to become a Watcher of the Veil like those before me until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home, and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that! You're only making this harder! I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. <laughs> I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig! Is that you, my boy? Coming! <laughs> and then act like a dog. So, was that goodbye? Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why'd we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on. Can't forget that materia. As for me. Ah, that will do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then we can see the sights. Mechanical cat falls asleep. More at 11. Well, where'd they come from? Learn well the joys of giving. Generosity is a great virtue. One which the planet will be more We are not made lesser for it. Our bodies are lives. Feel 
not only are there tourists, this is a massive tourist location. It does make sense. I mean, look at this place. It's fucking beautiful. I'd be here. It is only natural to hear its call. Queen's blood is of the planet and for the planet. Sure about that. Like all things is part of the great cycle that connects us. Indeed, each and every card holds within it a greater purpose, one that belies their form. Come, join me in a match that you too may glimpse the truth of our great mother. When I was younger, I would read Belies as bellies, and I didn't understand the context. To get some shut eye if if you didn't mind. Hmm. I don't know if Queen. Oh, that Queen B reminds me of what happened in RimWorld. for the speed run, the middle lane speed run. Oh, never mind that. It's not over yet. So I don't want to, you know... I don't want to pretend like it is, but it, it, it's looking... I could do a card replacement. It's looking pretty good for me right now, though. Oh yeah, it's looking it's looking real good for me right now. God, what a nightmare this must be for them. People are betting against me. In chat? Really? Chat, why would you do that? I lost to a dog and crybaby net, sure. Okay. Fine. But chat, I'm the guy that says spin. A turn I did not expect, which confirms my fears. A strange, wicked pall hangs over the life stream, and a similar dark energy has corrupted Queen's blood. Be careful. The game's pleasures belie the thorns beneath that will bleed you slowly and surely. Many Take the pleasures from the snake. The darkness of which I spoke. Too many. Remember, the cards are a link between us and the planet. If you are in trouble, reach out. She shall answer. 
Oh, great mother, hear my prayer. Watch over your son. I'm surprised only one pro uh, person posted the Blade Runner emote after that. I figure that's a pretty memorable line from Blade Runner that more people would get it. Watch as she takes the pleasures from the snake. The, uh, the, ch the chief, the diaper chief in Blade Runner, M. Emmett Walsh, like Deckard's uh, superior. He, uh, the, the actor passed away. He was like 80-something. That dude was a phenomenal character actor. He was in a lot of really good shit. But to acknowledge how bad it really is. Folks around here, though, they get it. They want what's best for our planet. You can see it in their eyes. Wonder if it ain't too late to recruit them to Avalanche. Only wish we could have made it out here sooner. We have the planet to thank the Imagine Cloud Barrett, the party, and like 800 people following behind them. Material, where are you? No need to be shy, come out. Yuffie's gonna take you home. You could rhyme something. My precious material, where are you? A little bit better than that, Yuffie. Yuffie likes to sing, we've learned this. We can tap into the flow of the planet's spiritual energy. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Who's Oh, oh! It's our very first catch of the day, folks. We have ourselves a challenger. Why aren't you at the uh, the club in Junon? At home, who you are? Ha ha ha! Could this shark be more of a guppy? Well, I spy a row of razor sharp teeth in this little fishy's maw. You might be the QB killer we've been waiting for, but there's only one way to find out. That's right. Our audience doesn't want to hear commentary. They want to see blood. To up the ante, our challenger's opponent will be none other than your host with the most. I wonder if that's a real Sony camera. I'm going to try my current selection of cards. I'm very happy with this card choice. There's probably some better ones I could be using, but right now... You know, why, why fuck with, um... Why fuck with what's working? got options here. I don't know if I want to do... Let's try it. Just in time, too. Hmm. Yep. Chat's still betting against me. They're not, right? No, that's that's not real. They're not betting against me.
Wasn't a complete blowout. I'll give Bernard that. Talk about carnage, am I right? I'm lucky I got out of that match with my limbs intact. Today's shark is a ferocious man-eating menace. He made a serious splash with some ruthless moves. Players the world over have got to be shaken in their boots. Something tells me this beast is about to upset the QB food chain. Better start swimming. Congratulations to you, sir, for an incredible match. Though we found the canyon's resident shark, the fun never the ends fuck is on this, this voice? show. Stay tuned because we've got more coming your way. Okay, so he definitely likes to talk. We'll start with that. <laughs> but also, what is that voice? Uh, hang on one second, chat. Let me get some, some water. Got you that Kate Sith frog clip you wanted to show. Chat, chat. I don't know why I said that like that, but chat, here's the uh, Kate Sith frog glitch that I enjoyed very much. Uh, what is going on here? Oh my god. <laughs> it never this ends. Is a glitch. This is definitely a glitch. What the fuck? <laughs> That's amazing, and it like whoa! It pulps the frame rate too. Kiddo, kiddo. It also, um, if you go back into Kate Sith and turn back into Frog, the same thing happens. I don't know which Frog that that's attached to. Is it, is it Kate Sith Frog or...? Yeah, it was Kate Sith. So, yeah, you could actually... I don't know if it would work again, chat. Listen, if I ever go back to Junon, I'll check. But right now, that we're, we're a little busy. running into you here. Say, how about I get a shot of you giving thanks to the planet? The beauty of this place right is now it's unreal. framed like Tifa and Aerith are the angel and devil justice. on Cloud's shoulder. Wonders such as these have to be experienced in person. I want to believe I can capture this magic. I'm looking for spots with a spiritual feel, if you know any. Aerith is the devil. That would be a good subversion of expectations. Loves murder? No. Aerith loves murder podcasts. Ah, 
Not so fast. Sorry, but visitors aren't allowed in here. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. All our valuables. Oh. How do I get, like, that guy's role? Like, I, I want... Do I need an agent to just be one random NPC in Final Fantasy VII uh, Afterbirth? Please, John Square, if you're watching, please. I just want to be an NPC. I'll be one that gets squashed like a bug. I don't care. Just want to do one voice. Only those who have the key, as well as fellow Bugenhagen's permission, are allowed inside. I bet there are very confused chat members who didn't play the original that are like, what do you mean, Bugenhagen? Only those who have the key, as well as fellow Bugenhagen's permission, are allowed inside. Well, chat, I've been waiting 34 oh, years to see about. what Bugenhagen looked like, and here he is. I saw him in the trailer. You thank you for looking after my monkey. My name is Bugenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. What's that stuff on his eyes? I'm not a child What's it called? Anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead. Cataract? In, yeah. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our veil and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good for nothing father. Oh. Speaking of the members of our little community, Damn, have dude. you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. Be right back. Gotta give credit to Max Middleman for having the range to do some of the stuff that he does. Please, come in and have a look around. <laughs> I really, I do love the primary cast of this game. I'm biased because I got to, you know, watch them at Comic-Con do their, like, um, panel. And they all seemed like they were having a lot of fun. They seemed like really nice people. But I love their work. And they really do help bring these characters to life. I love the localization for the little moments too. But without like a really talented cast. And generally I feel like everyone fits their character's voice like really well. And I kind of even... I'm warming up pretty quickly to um, Nanaki at more as like a more adolescent voice. I kind of understand. I, I do understand it. What about Zack? He's better in this game than he is in Crisis Core. Not to throw shade, but I, I really do feel like the actor has settled into his take on Zack a little bit better. Professor Gast to thank for a full It's also voice direction too. Like idea. Crisis Core, they had to fit. There's a lot of weird fucking writing in that game too. A but yeah. Welcome to you, friends of oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Have my devices piqued your curiosity? They are essential to my studies of the planet. So in the original chat. I had no fucking idea what was going on with Bugenhagen's legs. And I thought he was just like a weird floating, like, man. Because the graphics were so vague and low poly, I had no idea he was floating on a ball of materia. Or just an, a magic ball. It may, it may not be a giant materia. It may just be like a floating magic ball or something. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. 
<laughs> uh, those devices are testing the pull of gravity. That was awkward. The Cosmo Canyon theme is cool, just on strings like this, too. Piano and string accompaniment. Even more enchanting. And yet, it's like you're singing to me of the planet's wisdom. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. Man, I should store my memories in rocks. Maybe I'll remember shit better. Here we seek to gather the wisdom of the planet. I thought he was on a like playing a Game Boy chat. Hmm? That's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. Anakin never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Have my devices piqued your curiosity? They are essential to my studies of the planet. In the original, he, his dialogue is just a lot of ho ho ho! Seek to gather the wisdom of the planet. A lot of hoes. Like you're singing to me of the planet's wisdom. It's weird because worry, as dear. underwear modelish as Cloud looks, Bogenhagen's the one with the most hoes. All right, yeah, give me your minus twos, chat. Like, that wasn't a fucking joke of the century. <laughs> you recognize that little scamp? I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. A little weird to have a hologram of Nanaki at all times, but I, you know, you do you, Bugenhagen. <laughs> in, in my mind, I pronounce the name as Bugenhagen in the original, because it's just a weird collection of letters. I don't know. Nanaki never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. Hammerstein. <laughs> they are essential to my studies of the planet. <laughs> Let's not be hasty. I'll show you that room later. Balloon? That right there is a type of a current generator. It harnesses the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. Cloud, how do you like my goon cave? Does it pique your curiosity? Oh ho ho! Well, of course, I had a more impressive one back at the Academy. You missed the thing on the table and also left of entrance. Hmm. That 
Cries at the planet. allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them with our own eyes. Two in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. Gung they were loud and huge. <laughs> a fascinating account. Were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Holy um, shit. Excuse me? Oh, oh. Yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. Bugenhagen be buggin'. Chat, everything out of my mouth has been gold. And you're giving me minus twos. Fool's gold, I maybe. To you, our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado. This was always a favorite moment of mine in replaying the original. I was hoping it was going to do the music. It's doing the music. Chad, it's beautiful. It is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. Yeah, they, it's pre-rendered, but it's it's beautiful. Behold, the planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. Okay, picture this but scene, but Mr. Dink the narrating. Body, the spirit, the soul. Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river, where all intertwined and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name, though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It's not something. It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. This had like an impact on me as a kid. This and made me see the world a little different. If ever that essence were to be entirely depleted.
Yeah. Well, they did that scene justice, I feel. Definitely. Of course. These are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? That's the right question. Suggestive of a lack of understanding. Wow, he's cold, the Tifa. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Have them executed. This young lady to our seminar room. Would Yo, what? Right this way. Okay. <laughs> hey, can I come? Aerith with the save. Yeah, um, I, does Bugenhagen not want to even consider alternatives? Or maybe he just knows that well? Maybe he knows, he really knows what's up, I don't know. Is he, he's not using Mako to power that computer screen, right? Oh yes, that's my grandmother. Wind, uh, no, it's wind, yeah. Got a question. The planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies, right? <sighs> yes. Is there any way to avoid this? Like, making the spiritual energy stronger? Why are you asking me such <laughs> things? <laughs> what? Uh, I'm sorry. I've come to realize that I'm somewhat stuck in the past. We've entered an era in which humanity exerts unprecedented influence over its environs. And as both the planet and society evolve, so too must science. And yet it seems that I cannot. Perhaps I'm much too old of a dog to learn any new tricks. What's nice. my explanation of planetology not to your liking? Perhaps a seminar would provide a more agreeable experience. He, he knows that he's not, like, willing to accept some of this new stuff. However, he's also got a very short temper. But I mean, some of these questions were not asked in the original, which makes me think they're going to be even kind of trying to, like, semi-redefine... Semi like, the whole concept of Mako and energy. I just think these people need to use the water. Or, like, they're using wind, which is a great start. But, like, I don't know, build is like a fucking hydro dam or something. I don't know, I've been playing RimWorld, so you can do geothermal. You can do, like, mills. You can do solar. Why do we need grandma juice? Like, cre cream. We don't. Anyway, I was, when I was younger, as many of you know, I loved space. I still do. But I was a big fan of astronomy. And this game came out a little after my astronomy interest kind of waned a bit. However... It kind of reignited that little. And it also, I say this game, but the original. Also, I liked big swords. I liked motorcycles. Well, not really motorcycles, but you know, the cool things that happen in the game. Helicopters, motorcycles. This game, like, hit me, I said this a million times, but it hit me at the exact right time. 
You have spiky hair dude with big sword. Space things. Like, weird elemental magic. You have, like, um... You know, like a, a rundown city. Like, in Midgar. You know, you have all this cool tech. Weird fucking monsters, like the, the Hell House and the, like, the fucking Triceratank. It was just a combination of everything I wanted without knowing I wanted it. All in one video game. And thus, for many years, well, for a few years, it became my favorite game of all time. And then I kind of bought into the narrative that it was overrated. And I liked it a whole lot less, and I didn't want to seem, like, uncool. And now I don't give a single fuck. I love Final Fantasy VII. Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. I don't think it's as good as Final Fantasy IX or VI as an overall experience. Like, it's not my favorite game of all time or anything now, but it had a huge impact on me and it will remain as such. Not his favorite as Chrono Trigger. Well, again, like I said, it was my favorite for like a year or two. But these days I've kind of leveled it out. I think in my top 25, Final Fantasy VII is somewhere in the like 20 region. It is a flawed game, but it has, um, it has a lot of significance. One of the reasons I ended up putting it in my top 25 is because when I replayed it a couple years ago, I still loved it. I thought there was going to be a lot more of it that I was like, ah, oh, this is this is dated, or it's not that good. No, it was still awesome. Of course, it doesn't hold up as well as when you first play it, but you know, not every game can be Mario Three. Where's Bloodborne in the top twenty-five? Chat, do I have Bloodborne in my top 25? I know it's on my top 100. Outer Wilds is in my top 25. Yeah, that has risen significantly, especially with the DLC reminding me how good it is. Um, also, space and existential crisis shit. Perfect. Shower with your dad, Sim? Oh, that's number two. Where's Existential Crisis Core? Yeah. Uh... It's a fine game. Crisis Core is fine. It's nowhere near my top 100, but it's it's fine. They look a lot more feline in these portraits. I also pronounced Gil as Jill growing up because a friend of mine called it that. The one that got me to uh, 
I wouldn't say he got me into it. It was the commercials that got me to want to buy it. But he was the uh, the person I mentioned that broke my fish tank. The dude that um, I saw the gold saucer at his his house, and uh, he called it Jill. So then I called it Jill. I mean, we had never really heard these words said out loud. It was like three Final Fantasy fans in my entire grade. So... Mako, yeah, Mako and not Mako. Well, Mako Shark. How did he pronounce gold? Jold? <laughs> Jold. Where do you fall on the Titus Titus controversy? I like Titus because I, I call him Tinus. However, he is of the tides. You know, he does like a water sport. Just like Cloud has a cloudy brain. Squall's past is stormy. Uh, Zidane is a soccer player. Uh, Titus is, you know... Tides, water, you know, it all kind of fits. This village is lame. Did you know none of the materia here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. Oh. This village is lame. And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with. Within you all are the planet's thoughts and memories. To study planet. I'm seeing some pushback here against the, uh, the planetology stuff. Look at this. They're holding some festival today called the River of Lights, thinking it could be worth checking out. First. Look at this. They're holding some festival today called the Since I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Do I have to? I ask you this, who among you has looked in? The planet speaks. A seminar is in progress. I've, uh, always been on the bigger side, but... Please, continue on into the assembly. Painting and poetry are more my thing. My old man, he... He used to say it was a waste. Well, who's me spending all my who's time speaking? indoors? According to him, a big kid like me was using twice as much spiritual energy as other folks. The fuck? And I. Oh, the big dude was talking. Oh, okay. What about you, miss? Yeah, well, obviously. I'm just. Yeah, okay. Share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But. There was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... Never mind. 
This is all coming out wrong. Clap. Golf clap. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. Hey Cloud, we know we, we know a lot less than we went when we went in. Sorry. I kind of feel like falling into a pool of Mako might be kind of fun. Chat doesn't understand what a cult is. Uh, they're in one. Uh, no, listen, I, in the original, was there the aspect of maybe this is a cult? Did it? I don't remember it going there. Not really, right? More like a hippie community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, you saw the space room, you did the Red 13 quests, and then you just talked to some people. So that's what they're trying to do here to flesh out everything. Well, let's see. The game isn't implying they're cultish, just that Bugenhagen's beliefs are surface level. They aren't willing to take action to save the planet. Oh, okay. So then I misread the scene myself. Sorry about that. Not the scene, but, you know, like, what we've been... little, little clues. Wow, so many tourists. Must be quite the festival. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. I see. Yeah, she that's more clear now. decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, he fights, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. The planet's trying to tell me something. What? Did I sound as awkward as I felt? You did good. Can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I he was also there. Everyone to get it though. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks. All right. Tifa sociopath arc begins now. Even this. Like the youths who left the veil years ago. Look at them. Gathered around the fire, just like us that day. Me and mom and dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. Don't give me that bullshit. You start a story, we finish it. Cloud, if I may, allow me to add a new word huh. to your lexicon. <laughs> Decorum, meaning polite behavior. Often used in the negative, like so. You sometimes exhibit a severe lack of decorum. Don't give me that bullshit. Aw, oh, sorry, Red. Jeez. Put your faith in our great mother. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once what? you die, that's that. Yeah, I totally agree. What? 
Ugh, should have known better than to get philosophical with you. We must live in harmony with our great mother. How much longer are they gonna be doing this? Of us, and we of it. As such, the light with which she has blessed us is a gift that must be well, so Where it? Taurus. Must be quite the festival. Wereth and wait, yes, Sith. Wait oh, where Aerith's over there. Oh, oh, Gate Sith, what are you doing here? Some say we're like grains of sand on the beach of the universe. Fatalist idiots. Spend my whole life trying to prove them wrong. But sitting here, looking up at the sky, you kind of help feeling pretty minuscule. Chat, you have no idea how I would love to be in a spot on this planet with zero light pollution, just so I could look up at the universe like that and see the Milky Way. Not willing enough to actually get on a plane to do so. However, that would be amazing. Milky Way. So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients, or to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will, I've been watched, I've been ignored, even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. Oh. That much was clear. What was that? That was like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator 2 trying to smile. So my blood's been a curse. But it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life. Friends that I love. Well, he tried. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy, even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. It sounds like they're clapping in a room. Like with a microphone set up. Like a sound booth, maybe? Oh, this is the festival we do in RimWorld.
Oh, they change colors too. That's neat. There, it is time. Oh, it's Mako related. Whoa! I am a talking cat. Oh, meow, motherfucker. Sappy, huh? Play, played. I saw you try to smile, lad. It looked meant every word, though. It looked a little weird, mate. He's a funnier so, character than we've ever had, but Aerith is... Had a, that's a nice What's moment up? for Aerith. There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that I mean all of you. Join me, would you? What did you all think of the River of Light? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale as of late. When I ask for their impressions, they I often speak of how beautiful it was. In this Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat, and it pleases me to know that the River of Lights of possesses such power. Alas, my hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual curiosity. They have yet to be fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation, yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts, I keeping them to myself. All bumping into each other. Challenge my old age. Like the most awkward and bizarre <laughs> fucking following of a character ever. Well then, shall we proceed? Uh, but I thought this door was. Sealed so that none may enter. Why, yes, and by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a watcher of the veil, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. Yeah, sure. And off we go. Insert goon joke here. But yeah, it's basically, yeah, that was a fallout type fall. Now we follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. I wonder what they do in this vault. Huh. Wait, was there a person already in here? Oh, I think they're, they're like following Bugenhagen to change his diapy when needed. I got it. Has Nanaki told you anything about his parents yet? No. They were watchers. Both of them. But they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him. 
Why would I? Oh. I see. Damn, this goes really fucking far down. <laughs> yeah, get stuck. Yeah. From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial, and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that would render the trial meaningless. But if not him... Wait, why not? Ah, you do nicely. Me? Him? Really? At least pretend not to hate me. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Ready. Okay. In order to recover health, Red 13 must sleep on a bench. Nowhere else. Also, this vending machine is wonderful, isn't it? It's like made of rock and, and bone. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? Discounts from a giant rock. So I'm going to try amethyst first. Supernal fervor. Grant haste on all party members. Okay. So we're going to attach some materia to this. AP for linked materia. Okay, we don't... Well, we, I guess we could do that. Vinny, you didn't read the whole thing. No. No, I didn't. For the longest time, I didn't think Mr. Bean had a voice. Costs two ATB. Activate on a three-person party. We will not be using that. We will be using the silver collar. Retaliate with ice shards whenever hit by an attack. Charges the vengeance gauge when a counter-strike lands. Okay. Counter-strike, you say? my back. Yeah. Burning holes in you right now. <laughs> what is this? This is a place of deep sorrow. A place where those who have been killed away. Oh, so observer also means shoot. We got this covered. You just heard this. If I were too old, Well, he's not doing the voice anymore at all. Now he's just, like, adolescent voice. Leave it to me! Leave it to Beaver! Bring it home! Now that was something else! My lucky. Look here. Such walls should be well within your power to climb.
What about Barrett? Barrett can't climb this shit. They're like, oh, he's done already. Oh, never mind. Hey there, Nanaki. Did you finish the trial? The twial? of mana. See, this, this also proves my theory that yellow paint isn't the problem. It's the color yellow. If it was green paint, people would be like, yo. Your discomfort is only natural. A fierce was waged here. And even after 45 years, the scars remain fresh. What? You're saying the Gi managed to make it all the way up here? <laughs> okay, somebody fill me in. Who are the Gi? The tribe knows a very few people outside of the Vale. The rest you will learn in due time. Let us proceed. Yes, that's well, it's that's all. I love that Barrett is in this ancient cave. Calling spiders assholes. There's just something so wonderful about that. I would too. Oh, absolutely. That's why he's so... He's, he's relatable. I also like when he goes, Ooh-ah. That's another favorite moment of mine. Got a whole heap of land with your name on it. Get your ass out of here. Six. One more. Coming at ya. We did all right back there. Yeah, I can see... I can see people in chat are mixed on new Red 13 voice. I agree that it adds to the character. I get it. I like that it's kind of a more natural, vulnerable voice, especially for a character that's like 14 years old in-game, technically, like in hey, human years. Why'd you run off to? However, the tone of the voice and the line delivery of the deeper voice, I get why people would like that better, because it just... I don't know, it sounds cool? Maybe that's all that some people need? He's totally Sonic? Oh god, did you really have to say that? Did you- did you have to say he's Sonic? He doesn't say too cool, right? Maybe we just don't fight the spiders right this moment. Vinny, after Sonic has been running around for a whole game, he gets home, he takes off his shoes. What do you think about that? Okay, you're just gonna, like, send this grenade into my mind? What do you think about that? Oh, 
only got two legs here, you know. <laughs> chat member was cooking that up for a couple hours. Don't let chat member fool you that that was some kind of spur of the moment thing, too. Like, that, that chat member was like, ooh, I got a good one. Waiting for the right moment to drop a psychic flashbang on his old friend. His old pal, Mr. Streamer. Mr. Vine Sauce. Literally Sonic. The, wait, does Sonic say nothing personal, kid? Hey, where'd you run off to? Cold Steel says that, right, I forgot about him. I love how cool Sonic and his OCs are. I like when people try to make Mario and like Mario OCs cool. Those are fun. I enjoy those. Even though Mario's just like a schlubby Italian guy who works in like a sewer. Sponge would never be cool. I think that's kind of why I like Sponge, is he's not attempting to be cool, he just kind of sucks. It's endearing, you know, there's an endearing quality to Sponge that I like. I wonder how many new viewers are like, why is Vinny saying the word Sponge? What does that mean? Fear me? Oh. Another one in the bag. Okay. There's gonna be a segment of chat members that are not a fan of this opinion, but I don't care. I'm gonna give it anyway because that's what you're here for, right? You wanna hear me talk about games? I'm fine with it in the cutscenes. I think it makes a lot of sense. I think it actually adds to the character in the cutscenes. And I think it, it once you kinda of like get into the you know, the thing it's trying to accomplish, it's good. And the range on the actor, Max Middleman, is amazing. However... <laughs> so I need to say it. I only got two legs here, you know. Uh, I think we'll just leave it there. You can just write what I'm about to say in your own head. You've probably watched long enough. Unless you don't know who Sponge is. In which case, I don't know what to tell you. Sponge is a very, very important OC of mine. <laughs> OC. He's in, yeah, I guess he kind of is, isn't he? Wow, I don't know why calling Sponge an OC is funny to me, but it really fucking is. We can 
Don't say spin dash, chat. Just don't. You don't need to. Why do you need to say spin dash? You don't need to say spin dash, I promise. I don't even know how Sponge came about, chat. I really, I kind of don't remember the origin of Sponge. There's a video on it, bruh. Hey, where'd you run off to? Did I make the character or did someone else though? He forgot his own son. Vinny, you did. Here I am, like saying, oh yeah, people don't know about that sponge character, huh? That Sponge character? You know, the famous Vine Sauce character Sponge, and then I'm like, who made Sponge? There have been many such occasions, chat, where someone uh, made a me for me to use in Tamadachi Life. And so that's kind of why I get confused. Can we revisit Tamadachi Life, please? Uh, I don't have any ideas for what to do with it. And I don't have enough time to really get invested in it. Maybe it's okay to just leave some things as a memory. I mean, I already... I, I gotta be honest, I milked that series. Damn it, that doesn't look convenient. For many, many more episodes than it probably should have gone on. I'm glad people like it, though. I mean, here's the thing. It's been 10 years, which is crazy to think about. But there are people that come up to me at PAX, even now, just last week, and we're like, Vinny, your first video series that I watched of yours that I really liked, that I really got into, was Tamadachi Life. 10 fucking years later, and Nintendo still hasn't made a Tamadachi sequel. Cool? Like, too cool? Once in a while, Barrett. So we know Yuffie likes to sing, but we now know. Well, we know Barrett likes to sing too, but only that one thing. He did it in the remake too. Yeah, you're right. You're right, chat. that you mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the key, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Nanaki, this shall be your first try. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. 
Okay, we'll do. Seek the relic of our past. Carry it forth and bring the truth to light. Only then shall the path reveal itself unto you. Wait, we're playing fetch? Just a bone. <laughs> oh man. Nay, that is not the relic we seek. <laughs> that is but a mere bone. Okay. All right. If we're gonna get made fun of, then I think the best way to do this is probably to uh, go to the most out of the way area possible. Sorry, I broke that priceless relic. Can I just use like a phoenix down on this enemy? I don't think I have assessed materia on any, uh, on Barrett or Red 13. I actually do wonder, would this work? Oh! Did that kind of do something? Yeah, I think it did something. was a fallen key. Even in death, their lingering enmity manifests as such. They who wander in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. But what if I bring more bones? I think these also work. Am I a good boy, Guggenhagen? Well, if it isn't a key arrow, its point is coated with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body, slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone. Turn to stone. And you're not home. Turn to stone. Ba 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 ba.
this is. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm pleased to see that you're enjoying yourself. Baobab. To us, the remnants of our past. I love it. I love that this is just fetch. Most would call that materia, but it is far more than a magic stone. It is a crystallized collection of the planet's memories and knowledge. Healing material, wow. It's a good one. It's a three star. So what do we we have speed demon keychain? This is what Roche gave us, aside from the pocket lint. And now, a gift for you. 13 gill and pocket lint. It's all I had. You earned it, big boy! I think Roche would also have chapstick in his pocket. I, I think that's a safe bet. Lip gloss, probably, yeah, lip gloss. Oh, oh, oh. oh sorry. I haven't slept well of me. Deliver unto us. I missed one. Was it like a good thing that I missed? Bring it on. I missed a weapon. Oh, for fuck's sake. Where is it? Uh, where is it? Ah, yes, an armament of the veil. The carvings on its hilt should look familiar. Indeed, you'll find the very same markings on your own body. Okay, so we got silver collar right now. This is the mystic collar. Deplete the vengeance gauge to increase allies' ATB potency proportional to amount expended. Activate when vengeance gauge is full. It's got a good attack and magic attack upgrade. I'm gonna have to learn this skill. I'm gonna do that. Way past cool. Do I need this thing still, chat? I'm not sure if that... If that's something I need to continue bringing. 
Yeah, I do, huh? Are these altars? Interesting. Because my first thought was, are we going to make it out of this place alive? <laughs> its decor is indeed the opposite of inviting. These look like the statue I picked up. If there is a reason for everything, then one could argue that everything has no reason. Regardless, you know what you must do, don't you? Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Restore them to their rightful place. What is bro yapping about? <laughs> okay. No, oh, there's one. I'm getting, like, Temple of Doom vibes from this. Whose heart is getting ripped out? Uh, all of Cloud's prospective girlfriends. There'd be a lot of swooning in this game. I only got two legs here, you know. Someone said Cloud's a looker, but he's got nothing going on inside. <laughs> Fortification material. I'm actually going to put that on. I keep saying Calvin Klein underwear model for Cloud Strife, but is Calvin Klein even a thing anymore? Like, is that, like, the cool thing to say, or is there, like, another brand of underwear model? I don't really know fashion. Chat, I don't know how to dress. <laughs> I really don't! I kind of like it, though. I'm, I'm very okay with it. I'd rather be this disaster than try to, like, you know, jump into, like, whatever trends are happening now. I really don't think I would look good in bright pastels. Give me a red shirt and a black cardigan, and I'm happy. Hoodies are good. I like a nice hoodie. 
hoodies are useful. They're functional. Someone said your style reminds me of a math teacher. Do math teachers dress like just graphic tees in a hoodie? My math teachers never did. We? There's a cool, um, jacket that Josh Homme's been wearing on his tour, the Queens of the Stone Age tour. I really wanted to know where he got that jacket or something similar. I'm sure it's probably like fucking $800. It's also probably custom made, but it's like, I don't, um, I don't actively seek out clothing too much, but once in a while I find something that I'd be like, oh, that looks pretty cool. Something similar would be nice. That and like a Leon Kennedy jacket, you know? I got that one. I got that, so I'm good. Pee. One of my 30 Pink Floyd shirts. I have, th I have three Pink Floyd shirts. Two. No, three. <laughs> three. intertwined with the Gi, for they first came to these lands many millennia ago. This sanctuary is proof of their persistence, for it was built to ensure that they never escaped. But if they were sealed away thousands of years ago, how'd they break out and attack the Vale? That I cannot answer. Only the Gi themselves could. But enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Naraki. Someone said, how many Nirvana shirts do you own? This cave serves uh, as a one. Boundary. Between our world and that of the Gi, it was vital to them and their plans. Were the Gi to seize control of it, the canyon would be doomed. And the people. When the Gi moved against us yet again, a certain watcher recalled this vulnerability. Huh? Since time was of the essence, he entered the cave without reinforcements. As he had feared, it was teeming with Gi. Ready to descend upon the village. Determined to protect the veil. He passed from one flow to the next, felling all who dared oppose him. Hold on. If there was a watcher who single handedly saved the canyon, how come I've never heard of him? <laughs> For now, you should focus on your own struggles with the Gee. Their malice grows more potent. We will do that. Um, just to follow up on that Nirvana shirt question, because of course, I was a big fan in the, in the 90s. I have a couple vintage Nirvana shirts from like 95. Somewhere. But the one I have now is like kind of non-standard. Definitely good. Pretty cool. Master Nanaki, you and no one else ever forget that. 
Look to the crevasse at the gates below. Pass through all to complete your trial. But that's easier said than done. This music got very Temple of Doomy. Same for the visuals. Well, I mean, again, if you play the original, it, it's in the ballpark of this anyway, but yeah. Ready for some fun. They took the voice change thing, like, into also, like, full adolescent mode of, like, let's have some fun. Pretty good, right? I'm getting Fellowship of the Ring vibes here, Moria in particular. I was listening to a podcast that uh, Michael Rosenbaum fella, whoever that really is, I don't really know that well, but um, had John Reese Davies who played Gimli. And he was, like, sharing stories of the set and the production, how he was convinced that movie was going to be a bomb. Because there's no way anyone could have undertaken such a project. And he, he was like, oh, I'll get a trip to New Zealand for a month. I'll go there, hang out, check out the country, and then just go home because the movie's inevitably going to fall apart. The Lord of the Rings movies are such a miracle. They really, really are. It was like Guy Fieri. Uh, Vinny, when does the good night weather start where you live? I'm going to say May. Late April. I mean, I there's been some pretty shitty when I uh, filmed Generation Loss last year, it, it was in May. And um, I will say the night was kind of brutal on one occasion. Actually, you know what? No, it was pretty. It was pretty bad. It wasn't terrible, but it was. It was still like cold nights. And um, that was early May, so I feel like yeah, May is kind of. It's a bit of a long shot, but it you know. It starts getting better. June is when you can go for night walks comfortably. And I look forward to, and I live for those night walks. I really do. I love that shit. I love a nice, like, um, beautiful night where the weather is, like, perfect. 
preferably t-shirt weather at night is like the best but I'm fine with hoodie weather too it's not quite hoodie weather but we had a day a, like a week and a half ago where it was like t-shirt weather I'm like how the fuck is this possible in March and then it dropped back down I know I know what you're gonna say chat and you know I get it but at the same time it then dropped back down to like 10 <laughs> It's like, oh man, I got used to it. It was like two days. I got used to it and I was so happy. Planet's dying, Cloud. <laughs> Old man yells at Cloud. Oh, that's this game in a nutshell, I guess. I still feel like we were put on this planet to create plastic. Like George Carlin said in one of his uh, stand-up specials. I like that bit. It's stupid, but I like it. I, 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 it makes me laugh. He says, you know, why are we so presumptuous to think we've created something that is, like, otherworldly to the planet? Maybe the planet put us here to make plastic. All the ingredients, the building blocks, are of the planet. Maybe those little plastic six packs holder, uh, six pack, six pack holders for like beer cans. Maybe that's the purpose of humanity. We we did it, and now, you know, now we can go. The planet got what it wanted. It got beer can six pack holders. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's so fucking dumb. Now we rapture all at once. Thank you for the plastic, my child. You have done well. The turtles and the ducks are choking. <laughs> and now you can go. I saw a video today against my will of someone twerking on a duck, and it made me very depressed. <laughs> Uh, I was like, what is this? Why am I being shown this? I don't want to see this. I don't want to know that it exists. Uh, strike the ground, send nearby enemies flying. Strike two or more enemies, okay. It's a very ornate gun found in this ancient cavern for Barrett. For those unfamiliar with the original, this dungeon has also been massively expanded. As is... par for the course. Try pulling the chain up as far as it will go. What? I think the game just gave me the solution. I ran away too far, and the game had no faith in me. I have read of uh, fatigue that some people get with the dungeons of like, you know, after like 60, 70 hours of just, you know, hitting one switch across a room to another switch across a room to another one. It does get a little old, apparently. Don't say I didn't want I'll tell you when it was getting old. On the way to the gold saucer. That was where I, I started feeling some fatigue pretty pretty uh, intensely. I'm not gonna say... Listen, I'm not gonna say that's bad. Like, I get it. You have to have a dungeon where you do things. Even if I do feel like the dungeons sometimes go on a little bit too long, like, um, the Mithril Caves early on in the game. 
that was definitely, like, way expanded beyond what I thought it would be. So yeah, I have little nitpicks like that, and I can see some of the fatigue setting in. Like, my brain starts to glaze over, and I think about Krispy, Krispy Kreme donuts going to McDonald's and how I want to, like... I want to, like, create the ultimate diarrhea concoction with a Krispy Kreme donut with McRib sauce. Burger, chicken... Mm. Throw the Big Mac sauce on there. Like, slather it. As well. Why not? I like when Barrett says asshole. It is funny. That will be my letter to, to Square. That's bad. That's all that recovered? Whoa, what? Shit. Oh, I got petrified. Well, the game is very generous and, and does not it does not wish for you to die too easily and get frustrated. I don't think Red 13 said yippee. Like I just don't I don't think that's what we just heard. I don't I don't think we heard hit me. I think I, I think it was hit me. Son of a bitch. There's kids out there that only eat McDonald's. You know that, right? Adults, too. Yeah, there's the adult, um, Gorski, who would, like, pack Big Macs in a freeze-dried, like, um, plastic bag in case he traveled so he could have his Big Mac every day. I might be recalling some of that information incorrectly, but there's a dude that ate McDonald every day. I've talked about him on stream. And yeah, he just, he just made sure he packed a Big Mac. And so, just in case. It's like trying to do your Wordle every day, except it's, it's like eating McDonald. It's 
Someone said, I'm sorry, we are not Americans. As if McDonald isn't everywhere. Like, you can't go to the Great Pyramid and walk inside the Great Pyramid and find a McDonald's. There is a KFC next to it. There is, yeah. Wendy has a new item as well that I'm interested in. I don't know. I, I wonder if Review Brog is going to tackle it, but it's Creamsicle Frosty. And chat, I. I fucking love Creamsicle. I don't particularly love fast food these days, and I try not to get it too frequently, but I would fuck up a Creamsicle Frosty. So good job, Wendy. You have my attention. Is that available yet? Does anyone... I'm not advertising for them, because I... Listen, there's... It's slop that gives you diarrhea. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's like, if we're talking about fast food, I can't not talk about it without it sounding like an ad. It's alright, very sugary. I... Can't say I'm shocked by you saying it's very sugary. A lot of sweets is just like more sugar, more sugar, more sugar. All right, we've dumped a whole load of sugar into it. It is done. Unleash the treat. I bet Red 13 wants a treat. This dungeon just keeps going, huh? My spin attack. Is there going to be a bench? Am, am I going to end up finding a bench in just a second after I use my items? That happens a lot. However, I don't want to fight this spider without a little extra health, so... You can find a bench in the Great Pyramid. I think we should turn the Great Pyramid into a Home Depot. Run! 
I still want to know where Barrett stores these bullets. Don't say it, chat. Where does Red store any of his items? Yeah, good point. One of the things I liked about the Zelda cartoon show... Maybe the only thing I liked about the Zelda cartoon show... Well, when I was a kid, I liked it, because it's, you know, it's, it's Zelda, and it was like, oh, it's a cartoon, it's a cartoon. Is, um, there's a pouch. Link has a magical pouch. And the items that he carries are like shrink when they go inside of it. So that's like, you know, that's the way they explain that. Show you what a Walter can do. I got to meet, um, at PAX. I probably mentioned this, but... Doppley got me a signature of, um, Zelda's original voice actor, and Link's, I believe, from, um, the CDI game. Faces of Evil. But I also, I got to meet the original background artist who did some of the work in our set. Which I think is actually really good shit. Say what you want about the gameplay and the cheesy cutscenes, which are, you know, obviously fucking legendary at this point. But, I mean, you can't really... The music is pretty good, and the fucking backgrounds are confusing. Yes, but... This reminds me of those altars. Really good. There is a similarity, yes. But this sanctum is much more ancient and serves a rather different purpose. The altars we came upon before were built to imprison the key. This, however, was built to provide the Cetra with a means to commune with them. Commune with them? Why would the Cetra do that? The key were the enemy. <laughs> Good and evil friend and foe. Dichotomy is not set in stone, as mutable as the winds. But for now, Anaki, let us concentrate on the matter at hand, clearing a path to the truth. Apparently, missed the treasure chest. Um, yes, I did. It's also going to say that that's got to be some of the most, probably for the actors and the background artists nothing for 30-something years, and then suddenly 
It's like, hey, you know, we want you to come to this convention and do a panel, and people want to meet you and tell you that they love your work. It's just gotta be, like, kind of baffling. I'm sure they know what the final product was. And if I'm not mistaken, the voice actors of the original Zelda CDI game are aware of, like, the meme status, you know, because I think they know that the work itself was kind of, kind of rough. And kind of embarrassing. <laughs> but they have a good sense of humor about it. So, people love memes. Yeah, I'm not shitting on it. I mean, I'm just saying it's probably going to be confusing. That, like, nothing for years, and then suddenly this outpouring of love. So was our Zet also bad? No, our Zet was actually really good. It was a different kind of thing because it was self-aware cheesy. In a way that paid tribute! to the Zelda CDI games. Gameplay was perfectly acceptable. It played a little bit like a Metroidvania. Very simple gameplay. Controls were solid, responsive. Nothing that's gonna make you think, wow, this is like, you know, blasphemous or um, dead cells. Nothing like that. But, in my opinion, the gameplay in that game is more than acceptable. And it's pretty much just a vehicle for, you know, the next, like, background, or uh, the next cutscene, or the next piece of music. And it definitely served its purpose. Someone said, funny you say that, I felt the same way about Blasphemous. Yeah, that's fair. I, I love, personally, I love Blasphemous 2 and 1. But maybe two a little bit more in some ways. Though, um... I know there are people who like one better for a couple reasons. I just thought that they were really fun. Good Metroidvania games, good theming. Really... Weird. Kind of dark games. Oh, I didn't pull that fully. Uh. Pull out that little extra little bit there. Alright. Boogie hoggy. I need to I need to give you this stick. Actually that's not true. I need to Give him the stick! Don't give him the stick! Bench. Chad, I think the dungeon's finally over. Uh, in my professional estimate, because as you know, I'm a professional game developer, a uh, professional crybaby, professional... Uh... Spin artist? And I have cloud in my notebook. So in my professional opinion, this dungeon could have been cut down by half. And it wouldn't, it would have been fine. It would have been just fine.
I guess you don't need to worry about getting Barrett's weapon since they let you buy weapons you've missed now, which is a godsend. Did I not get Barrett's weapon? I, I think it's on him now. Or was there another one? I got it. Yeah, Barrett's got that right now. But yeah, being able to buy a weapon you miss is a good feature. I, I like that. You still get punished for missing it because you, you have to pay for it. So, Why the hell's this thing pissed the low battery has comedic timing from time, you know? It's, it's good. It's good. It's, it's good. Okay, so it's not like an instant kill like it is in the original, but it's still helpful. We're never going to learn that one. You need a full vengeance gauge for that, so. I don't know what I have that might be good here, but... I need my maximum Ungar. It's true, if you're angry, the bullets come out faster. You know what? I'm gonna summon Phoenix. Don't let me down, y'all. Oh wait, they're flames. I I'm using a flame creature. Uh oh. Yeah, it's fine. It's it's fine.
Wait, 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 wait. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Oh. Oh, it raises the limit level. Oh, shit. Wait, that seems like a little bit of a spoiler. Homeboy was just talking shit about his deadbeat dad. <laughs> Nice, the Phoenix leaves with a heal. I didn't realize that was a thing. Wow. Oh, we need some Ungar. Bunch of Phoenix Downs. Yeah, son. Catastrophe. If it's an ass whooping you want, you're about to get that sensor. Damn, Barrett. Damn. Countdown has begun. Did you hear the music? Stop. He said not cool. It's immune to Phoenix Downs. Okay. I thought it worked. I, I thought I saw it work. And then I saw the word immune. I'm like, is oh, is that a phase three new thing?
they were flinching him. Yeah, I, that's what I thought. They were they were putting him into like stagger mode or helping to. Never give up, never surrender. Two fire fellows, chat. Two fire fellows, what am I doing? Come on. I definitely don't want to fail this fight again. Go again. Uh, all right. Better you than me. It's over. Ow. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ooh. Oh! I'm reaching for my, my Ungar, but I... Uh. go on guard. We're still shooting this whole time? Oh. Alright, here we go. Chat, you know I'm gonna try something for shits and giggles. I, I don't even know if that worked. Oh, yeah. 
but we've got double limit breaks. Just about. Oh. Well, that wasn't so bad that time. I wonder if it got a little easier. Does the game automatically make bosses a little easier on second attempt? Well done. No. You've become quite the formidable fighter. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? Oh, oh. I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified. <laughs> well, you know, Red, only a Watcher of the Veil uh, you know, can defend the kingdom, but you have to talk like you did before. Would you be up for the task? <laughs> I don't know. Uh It requires that you speak like Sonic the Hedgehog. The Watcher of the Veil fought valiantly and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us, to this very day. Wait... Is that...? Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh, oh, oh. Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to seal off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps. How does this guy see? But not anymore. Heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> but this is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the Vale once more. But I'm a Watcher now! I gotta protect our home, like he did! Listen to me, Anaki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, you start to believe you've seen it all. But no surprises remain. They were following I closely behind. Now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki. Before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth! And in my stead, seek the great truths of our world! Look after him for me. Don't worry. 
We will. You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. <laughs> Go through the Are whole dungeon again. Ask, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all. I'm a watcher of the veil. I am Nanaki, watcher of Cosmo Canyon, and son of Seto, protector of our veil. Yep, do the howl. There's the tears, then there's the howl. Cloud, the Barrett's crying. Hearken unto me. My name is Guy Natak. O oh, brave and noble Seto. I beseech you once more. This is different. Hear the urgent pleas of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. The fuck? The warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. Okay, so it's it's very different now. That was oh, an exciting turn of events indeed. We'll back you up for two thousand. Uh. Let this jag off again. No. This one's free. Well, <clears throat> chat. I, ah. Chat, I believe. Oh, it was Yuffie. It was never Sephiroth. It was just Yuffie. I believe I have to go. Flesh is a tumult of emotion. See to it that Nanaki remains safe. Oh, 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 oh. Our world is filled with wonders. I bid you seek them out. I also, I always wondered how this cave was never known by the people of Cosmo Canyon. Like the geography of this cave, that it can see the moon. I guess maybe it could be in some hidden location. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I hate to do this. I'm just really tired. Like, I feel my eyes getting heavy. I'm still, like, um, post-con exhaustion a bit. So I have to, you know, I have to do this another time. What the fuck is going on here, though? I really want to know. Uh, it's, it's somewhat troubling. So, yeah. We'll find out. I don't know. I mean, some of the scene is a little different in a, in a way that I, I guess it's, it's, I don't know the exact original, but there's a music thing that I really like. That was a little different, but um, overall, I thought it was handled pretty well. And uh, yeah, the dungeon was very, very, very long. So I don't know. We'll see. If we have more dungeon ahead, I'd rather do that on another stream anyway. But we'll get into it more next time. I'm just gonna collect my thoughts, sleep a little bit, and return with a fresh brain. So thank you all for watching. It's, uh, it's nice to get back into the game again. 
be live maybe tomorrow, maybe Thursday, maybe both. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about it. But whatever the case is, uh, stop by when I stream and we'll continue more of this game. So this and other game. Uh, good night, everyone. Did Sephiroth do this? Also, thank you for the subs, everybody that has. I, I, as much as I don't call them out, they're appreciated. Uh, but also, not necessary. Goodbye.